What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Dietrich from Dietrich's Car Channel here with you and today I'm going to teach you how to set up and use wireless Android Auto. So step one for this process is to make sure that we have compatible hardware to do it. For the record, I'm going to be using a Google Pixel 6 Pro with Android version 13 on it and the car I'm using is my own Acura Integra A-Spec with technology package. The more difficult thing here is gonna to be to make sure that your car is compatible with the wireless Android Auto. So for example, this Acura Integra being a technology package, it does have the wireless Android Auto capability. If it were just a regular A-Spec or a base model, I would have to plug it in to use the wireless Android Auto. If you're not sure and you can't figure out if your car is capable of this, uh, go ahead and leave a comment down below with uh, the make, model, and package that your car is and the year, and I'll do my best to answer the question for you. But uh, right now, let me show you how to set it up. Okay, so to set up the wireless Android Auto, basically you need to connect the phone to the Bluetooth and then tell it to use wireless Android Auto. And I'm gonna run through this a little bit quickly because uh, the system sort of requires that. If you take too long, it will fail the setup, at least on this particular car. So I'm gonna go to phone and I am going to go to connect new device. And then I am going to go into my Android phone. I'm gonna swipe down from the top. I'm gonna to hold on the Bluetooth menu for a second to open that up. Now I'm gonna tell my car to search for devices. And there I am, Pixel 6 Pro. This uh, could be a little bit different. So now I'm gonna allow it to do things and I'm gonna hit pair. Always allow all the permissions you can give, give it all the permissions. Now, would you like to enable Android Auto for Pixel 6 Pro? Yes. And now it's gonna think about itself. So the phone is hooked up and it should be switching, there we go. And got a little bit of Megadeth, we'll see if that gets me a um, what you call it, a copyright strike, but uh, that is how you get the Android Auto working wirelessly. That setup portion of it could be a little bit different, obviously, depending on the make and model of the car you have, but the basic strategy, you want to hook up the Bluetooth on the Android phone you're gonna be using, and then tell the car, yes, I want to utilize the Android Auto. Okay, so now we have the Android Auto hooked up to the car. This is kind of what the interface looks like. We have the map right here. We have whatever music was playing there. And then we have a couple of you know map destinations there. If I push that little button, this gets us to all the different apps and widgets that we can use. And one tip, if you wanna go back to your car's software, find the name of your car and touch that, so now this is my car's um, interface system that I'm working with here, and I can just hit the Android Auto icon to go back to Android Auto. So, you know, it, obviously that depends on the make of your car. If you have a uh, Chevrolet or a Mercedes-Benz or whatever, just go ahead and find that icon, and then that will bring you back to your car software. Um, if you need to go somewhere using the maps, I would say that's one of the most common uh, uses for Android Auto and also Apple CarPlay um, is to use the maps on it. So there's a couple of different ways you can do it. You can grab the handset and put in a, a destination, but of course that's not the safest thing to do while you drive and the whole point of this is to keep your eyes on the road. So you'll notice this little microphone button right here. I can hit that to give the car voice command commands. And I also, on this car, I have a little, uh, what I call the talky face button, the little speech button right there. Uh, on some cars, it'll be that icon, and on some, it'll be a microphone. And usually, you have to hold that for about two seconds on the steering wheel to activate the phone's voice control system, which I have now done, and it's going to tell me, huh? So if we want to go somewhere, we can activate the voice control. Find me a Taco Bell. And then we touch that, and we're gonna go to Taco Bell. Except I don't wanna go to Taco Bell. 
You could tell it, find me a Taco Bell. You could tell it, find me a gas station. You could tell it, navigate to 2775 Mesa Verde Drive East, Costa Mesa, California. Sure, 2775 Mesa Verde Drive East. And now it's going to take me to an apartment complex that I lived in a very long time ago. But we don't want to go there either, so we're going to hit the little X. And then if I wanted to go home, I could hit that. It thinks I still want to go to Taco Bell, so we could hit that. So that's the basic way that the maps works on the car. Um, like I said, the system is set up for voice commands. So you can hit this little microphone. Find me a gas station. There you go, found me a gas station. So that would be the maps on your wireless Android Auto. Okay, so let's talk about texting, because that's something else Android Auto is very good at. And wouldn't you know it, we just got a text message, so we tap play aloud to read it. Hello, hey dude, what's up? Do you want to reply? Yes. Okay, what's the message? Leave me alone, Larry, you nerd. I got, leave me alone, Larry, you nerd. Okay, it's sent. And I always just hit send after it comprehends my message. And if we look right here, Larry gets the message. Leave me alone, Larry, you nerd. Isn't that wonderful? So that is kind of how the texting back and forth works with wireless Android Auto. Now here's the deal. As you can see, when somebody sends you a text message like that, everyone in the car is going to see that you got a text message and everyone in the car, if you click to read it, will be able to hear whatever the text message was. So I'm just, Putting that out there, I don't know about anybody's business. I'm just giving you fair warning that that is the way that the system works. So if you're using it to text back and forth with people, if you do have other people riding in the automobile with you, that is definitely something to keep in mind at all times. Um, yeah, because, you know, like I said, I'm not making any assumptions about anybody watching this video. I'm just letting you know that's the way that it works. And if you want to text somebody, text Larry Larson and tell him I'll be there at six. So that's a message to Larry Larson saying, I'll be there at six o'clock. Ready to send it? That, Sending your message. That's how you send a text to somebody and you can keep your hands off of the steering wheel that way. And I'll be there at six, right there. And the phone I'm using to demo that has AT&T. <laughs> and AT&T service is so horrible everywhere that it's very, very slow. But anyway, that's how you send and receive text messages with wireless Android Auto. Now, what you'll notice when you hook the Android Auto up to your car is certain apps that are on your phone are going to show up here. This police scanner app is a third party app that I have. I can listen to the police scanner in the car if I want to. The Spotify app is another third party app that's a very common way to listen to music and podcasts. You can use that to listen to music as well. Um, Google News, let's see if this works. Hey, I can listen to some news and five minute news briefings and all that. Let's see if it actually plays. Yeah, see, it's not working. I just remember this because years ago I made a how to use Android Auto video with a wired version of it and I tried the news app and um, it didn't work. So it looks like it still doesn't work or at least this particular version of it doesn't. So that's just another thing to keep in mind with Android Auto is that it can be kind of finicky and kind of weird and not work very well sometimes. Um, I own both an iPhone and an Android phone, so I don't really have a dog in the fight, but I do find that Apple CarPlay is a much better 
better system. Uh, Android Auto just has more issues. But one thing that Apple CarPlay doesn't have that Android Auto does is the games. So you have various different games that you can play in the car. Uh, Apple CarPlay does not have that. I can play 99 Balls 3D. Yeah. Th throw the balls and break the circles. Yeah. Okay. It's loud in here. So here we go. I'm playing with my balls in the car. The reason why I think they have this is probably for people with EVs who have to take the time to let them charge. And it should be noted that you can't play this while you're driving. Um, so my car is a manual transmission, but I have the parking brake set. If I release the parking brake, then the game goes away. So, and it thinks I'm very close to the car in front of me, which I am, and that's annoying, so I'm gonna put the brake back on. But if you have a car with an automatic transmission, it has to be in park to play the games. So that is how you use wireless Android Auto and the more commonly used uh, things with it as far as the navigation, the texting, the music, all that good stuff. If you do have any questions about the system, please put them in the comments. I'll do my best to answer them for you. And uh, please like my video, subscribe to my channel. Always drive safely, keep your eyes on the road, use your voice commands, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.